I will be removing Windows from my Duo Boot setup with Arch Linux. This will involve removing the Windows partitions, updating Grub, and confirming the EFI boot entries. First, going into Arch Linux, log in. Next, going to run Gparted, which is Partition Editor, so I can remove the Windows partitions. And if you don't have it installed, you can install it using Pac-Man. Open up a terminal. sudo pacman dash capital S, gparted, put in your password, and then proceed with installation, yes. Run gparted. So I'm going to be removing SDA1, which is my EFI system partition for Windows, SDA2, the Microsoft Reserved Partition, SDA3, which is my Windows C drive, and SDA4, which is the recovery partition for Windows, and I'll be leaving SDA5 and SDA6. Right-click, delete. Right-click, delete. 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 And then select a check mark to apply. Apply. All right, it's been done. And now from here, I can right click and create new partitions. But if I want to extend my slash partition here, SDA6, I will have to move the unallocated space to the right of it, as it has to be contiguous space in order to be extended. But since the partitions the slash boot and slash are mounted, and so I can't do it like this, I'll have to go and go into a live environment in order to move the free space. So I'm going to go and download Gparted. Go into gparted.org and then download. And then you can download the ISO. And now I'm going to put the ISO onto a USB drive. I'm going to close Gparted. I'm going to clear my screen. So I'm going to plug in my USB drive. I'm going to type in LS block. And it's SDB, which is my USB drive. And so I'm going to put the image on it. So I'm going to be using PV to put it on it. And PV is short for pipe viewer, as I prefer using this instead of, for example, DD. If you don't have it installed, you can install it. sudo pv and then the file name and dash capital Y for sync and lowercase o for output. And it's going to dev sdb, my USB drive. All right, let's get a pop-up here and it's found it, so that's good. And now I'm going to reboot my computer and boot into the USB drive. All right, select the default, enter. Don't touch key map, enter. Default, 33 US English. Default, zero, start X. All right, Gpart it started and confirm it's select your drive. In my case, it's SDA. And so I'm going to move the free space, the 426 gigs, to the right. I have to go through each partition here. Resize. Resize. And it gives a warning here about moving a partition might cause your OS to fail to boot. But in my case here, I won't be having an issue. OK. And then I'll do it again for SDA6. So this will be 436, 861 plus 523. So that'll be 437, 384. Resize. Okay. And then apply. Apply.
close. All right, it's completed and the space is to the right of SDA6. And now I'm going to extend my SDA6 partition and I'll use the entire free space, 487873, resize, apply, apply. Okay, and now SDA6 has been expanded. I'm gonna close and reboot. All right, my USB drive is no longer needed and I can remove and I'm gonna go back into Arch Linux. And I can open up Dolphin and we see here SDA6, it's now at 476 gigs. Next, I'm going to update Grub to remove the Windows Boot Manager entry. Open up a terminal, sudo in, password, and I'm going to check the Etsy default Grub file to ensure OS Prober is enabled. OS Prober will look for other OSs, which in this case, it should not find any. So I'm going to edit it. And we see it's false, so that's good. Exit out. And if I type in OS Prober, Windows will not come up. And that's also good. And then now I'm going to run grub make config to make a new configuration. I'm going to boot grub, grub.cfg. And the configuration has been created and OS Prober didn't detect anything else, so that's good. And before I do the last reboot to check Grub, I'm going to check the EFI boot entries just to see if there's any Windows entries. After running EFI Boot Manager, there are no Windows entries as expected, as I've removed everything related to Windows. But if for some reason there is still an entry, it can be removed. So for example, in this case here, we can see there's the Windows Boot Manager as boot 0004. And if I want to remove it, type in EFI boot manager space dash B and then there'll be 0004 and then space dash capital B. And then we see it's removed. And now I'm going to reboot. All right, grub comes up and we see there's no Windows boot entry. So it worked as expected. All right, so that's it. That's how you can remove Windows from your dual boot setup with Arch Linux. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.